Hi friends, this is Wes from the Guitar and Ukulele Program at Cathedral Park Performing Arts Collective in Portland, Oregon. I have a quick video for you today on the capo. This is going to help take the stuff that we learned in our first term at Guitar and Ukulele, or even your second term at Guitar and Ukulele, and take it to the next level, allowing you to play songs that you wouldn't otherwise be able to play because the chords might be a little bit tricky. Let me show you how it works. This capo clamps onto the neck of your guitar like this. I usually put the handle on my side, but you can put the handle on the under underside too. The important thing is that the long side of the capo is on the front of the fret uh, on the string side, and the short side of the capo is on the back of the neck. The front of the fret is the same kind of important that uh, putting your finger at the front of the fret is. It helps get a nice secure sound out of those strings, keeps them from buzzing. What the capo does is it changes the sound of our open strings. Without the capo, our open strings are here. With the capo, our open strings are higher. It's as if you're putting your finger along the strings. Like that. So what that capo is allowing us to do is play a chord like, let's say, G major, that uses a collection of open strings. When we take the capo and put it on a higher fret, we can still play that G major chord, pretending that the capo is our open strings. Except now the sound has changed. We have a sound for a chord with the same shape and the same quality, so major or minor, but the note that the chord is built around has moved because of the way the capo was placed. So now we're getting the sound of a C major chord while playing a G major shape. That can do a lot of things for your music. So let's say you have a song that has one chord you don't like, one chord that's a little bit hard, a chord progression that is C major, G major, F major. A lot of people don't like that F chord because that first finger has to press down on two strings at the same time. So if that F chord's got you down, maybe you put that capo on the fifth fret. Now to get that C major sound, all you gotta do is play your G major chord and then your D major chord. And then instead of playing an F chord to get that sound, all you have to do is play a C chord. Easier. Most songs have patterns where chords fit together in the same predictable ways, which means that you can take a song with a bunch of chords that just absolutely don't work for your fingers or are a little bit hard because of a certain technique and move the entire thing to a new key. And chances are all of those chords will be available to you in that new key using a capo. Let me give you an example. I'm Yours by Jason Mraz is all bar chords. D flat major, A flat major, B e flat minor, G flat major. Pretty tricky. But if you take a capo and you put it on the first fret, those four chords can be made using shapes that you already know. C major, G major, A minor, F major. The sound is the same, but the shapes are easier. You could even move it to the 6th fret and play that same sound using G, D, E minor, and C. So you may be asking yourself, where do I put the capo? How do I know to put it on the 1st fret or the 6th fret? And the good news is the internet has a lot of answers for you. A lot of people that put songs on the internet or put their interpretations of songs on the internet assume you're going to use one. So when you look up chords for a song, you might see capo one or capo three or capo seven. Those are instructions for where to put the capo to use the chords that they've provided for you. But let's say a song that you look up has been listed using chords that you don't know. You can still figure out where to put the capo by plugging, those song, plugging that song and those chords into what we call a capo calculator. There's an app called CapoCalc that does this, and there are a couple websites that I'll link to in the description for this video that do exactly this. All you do is put the chords in, like the Jason Mraz song chords, D flat, A flat, B flat minor, and G flat, and all of those chords will spit out in the capo calculator exactly what they'll look like with the capo in different positions. And you can look for a series of chords that will make the most sense for your chord knowledge and your ability. Thanks for watching. We're going to be putting together a lot of videos like this over the next couple weeks. So stay tuned to Facebook and Instagram at Cathedral Park Arts and check out our website, cathedralparkarts.org, 
where you can sign up for spring term online classes for guitar and ukulele and a lot of other fun ones. Hope you have a good one.